Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by I'm Michael and John from Rookie Beers. Yes, and John, you brought this beer, so tell yeah, us a bit about it. It's from uh, Mickler Beer Club, and uh, the April box. Not uh, to be confused with Mickler Beer Mail. No, but uh, you got the uh, nine beers from uh, this box, and it's uh, mostly Mickler beers and some others from. Omnipolar or whatever. Yeah. And this one is from Michelin San Diego. Yeah. So this is a Treblod. And I, this one of the things that I think is freaking hilarious with Michelin San Diego is that they do Danish names on, on the beers. Yeah. 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 Like Mikrobe and Bølger and all this. Yeah. It's, 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 I think it's yeah, pretty funny. Yeah, does um, Americans know Danish? Uh, no, no, no. no of course well, not. No, but no, I think no, it's so no, funny. No. It, it reminds me of when the brewery had their Rupol yeah. beer. And they tr did a video of people mm. trying to pronounce it, it was like rug brad ruber or ruber. <laughs> it was hilarious. So I, I imagine I imagine like people trying to say treblod. Everything with a and u. Treblod, 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 treblod. Yeah. It means Trabble. wood blood or <laughs> well, what maple syrup? It is wood blood. Blood of trees, yeah. Uh, or yeah, tre is tree, blood is or blood is blood. Yeah. So. <laughs> Danish lesson for you guys, but this is pretty highly acclaimed beer from Michelin San Diego. Uh, it was actually uh, one of the beers that from Michelin San Diego that came to Denmark, but some of the shipment was da shipment was damaged during shipping, so it was only for the beer club mm -hmm. and for sale in the bottle shops, the, the, the leftovers yeah. so that didn't break. So thanks for sharing this. Yeah, because uh, we don't have a bottle You're shop welcome. locally. Uh, but this is an 11.1% imperial stout brewed with maple syrup from Vermont of high quality and coffee. And they also have released a bourbon barrel age, I think. Well, at least a barrel age version of this. So. Mm. But not that much. Anyway. No, 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 no. At Michelin San Diego. Yeah. But um, yeah, pour is a, well, pretty damn black color. Yeah, pretty black. <laughs> the blackest beer we had tonight. Probably, Actually, yeah, I think so. I think yeah, so. Yeah, black and bourbon coffee. The, the head that when we poured it out, <clears throat> was a bit more dense, yeah. but right now it's fading away, especially yeah. in your glass. Yeah. <clears throat> but what was there, especially in your glass maybe, is like kind of a brownish yeah. color, but let's check out your own aroma on Treblu. Oh, mm. there's definitely the maple. That's the um, maple, yeah. It's like super maple, but also super dark fruity. A kind um, of spirity too. Mm, a little mm. bit. But maple. Yeah, no, it, 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 it doesn't smell too second, sweet. No, no, second whiff of the aroma I got there, I got even more maple than the first one. Yes, it, it doesn't smell oh, too sweet. Vanilla? I was oh, afraid well, it was going to yeah. be too sweet, but uh, maybe the coffee uh, evens it out. Yeah, it's, oh, the more I smell it, it's, it kind of opens up a bit. It, the more I smell it, I get like more like rich for, um, maple flavor, but also mm. definitely like the coffee. The coffee bean, like, yeah, kind of like an espresso type coffee aroma. But I'm still getting some dark fruit as well. With all the maples, maple yeah, stuffs coming out right now, I think it's it's uh, quite a lot of them is is, is too sweet for me. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The, if it this if, is it, more if it's evened out, yeah, if it's balanced with the kind the of the roastiness or bitterness, it could be really really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is fun with the dark fruit. Maybe a hint of vanilla, but it smells very nice. Let's we'll mm. try it. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers to share. Okay, <laughs> loads of maple. Loads of maple. But it's not too sweet, actually. No. As you said. No. Loads. Wow. The maple Coffee really loads. lingers on the aftertaste. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm, I'm really wondering with beers that have this much maple character, how expensive they are to make. Because maple syrup is really expensive, at least in Denmark. Mm. Like it's because it's got a really rich maple flavor. Is it aged in maple barrels or is it maple they add, syrup? I think they add straight Vermont maple syrup okay. to it. Lots of maple, of course, but also I think it's a kind of bitter, bitter, yeah, bitter it finish. Been, I bitter think there's a coffee dry maybe finish. Uh, there's some. Mm, there's not much of the heat on the. Uh, no, 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 no. It's really the the ABB. Part of it, it's uh, yeah. very well hidden in there. I mean, it feels something different, but. But it's very sweet in the finish. If I taste this and. and, and Deep down here, when it goes up to the nose, I get some, some minty notes. Not a lot, but a, quite a, a, a minty mm. note. 
It's very balanced. Maybe it I might like be the from the, the mint beer we had. I was thinking about that, but I don't think it's from that. It's actually I don't. Not a lot, but a hint to of, me, it's just like a hint of mint. Crazy maple coffee. Yeah, it is. It's by far the most dominant flavors. Mouthfeel on it, I'd say, we forgot to talk about mouthfeel and mud on these reviews, but yeah. mouthfeel, I'd say like medium, higher side of medium. It's not the fullest of mouthfeel, mm -hmm. but it has that oily texture and it leaves a sticky gloss on your lips. Yeah. Not as, not as sticky as, uh, yeah, not as sticky as other beers, but it no. is coating the mouth and it is, mm -hmm. is yeah, very, yeah, I agree, I agree. Yeah. It's very nice. It is really nice. It is nice. very nice. Very nice balanced. Yes. Even though it has loads of maple flavor. I but, don't, yeah, but I don't really know if it's, if it's appropriate to talk about the, the Coca Jesus, but it's the same bitterness as in the Coca Jesus with the maple. It's yeah. very balanced with bitterness. I like that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's got great balance. Um, it's for a, a sweet dessert type beer. It's, it's even more balanced than, uh, what's it called? The maple shake? Uh, Coca. Maybe a maple shake. Yeah. 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 It's more balanced than yeah. that. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I think I'm like a 95. Yeah. I, could I think it's really, yeah. really good. I think I'll agree on a 95. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's like four and a half out of ten. Yeah. Very yeah. nice maple yeah. beer. It's not like blowing my mind as I've had with some others, but I think it's also like with beers like this, when you've had like one of the, for the first time you have like a crazy maple beer, you mm. might get your mind blown a bit more yeah. compared to having yeah. one that's, because this is crazy mm. maple for one. Yeah. But when you've had a few, you start to, you know, like oh it's maple yeah. or like I tried before yeah. you know yeah. what I mean but, but on this one I could imagine it bourbon barrel yeah. yeah 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 I, I think it, it kind of tastes like it was meant for the barrel because it's <laughs> yeah. not crazy really? sweet but oh. with bourbon sweetness and all the vanilla marzipan yeah. flavors yeah. here's to hoping that they're bringing it to <laughs> bring it to Denmark yeah <laughs> I don't care about <laughs> NBC <laughs> sorry bring it to Denmark <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, thanks we're ready festival but I'm you sorry guys you it. need to go next year okay <laughs> this is yeah. the best I promise but yeah. we've been rambling on in this review guys let us know what you think of the McKellar San Diego Trebrul if you've had a chance to try it uh, and if you had a chance to try the barrel aged version because I think it has been released already let us know what you thought of it and uh, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up, and check out Rookie Beers, and of course, McKellar San Diego and Mickler. And we're going to say cheers, and see you guys in another beer.